Shalom Chabrim. I'm coming to you tonight because I'm feeling in my heart pressed to move in a little bit different direction with the ministry here. And I feel like that the time is starting to move in a direction that is more focused on the Jewish people. And I know it's a blessing for the Christian people as well. And, I, and please don't get me wrong when I say move into a direction for them. Uh, because I know it's going to bless your heart um, as Christian people that listen to these videos as well. I want to just kind of share with you just some things from my heart as I get ready to make this change uh, and to kind of help you understand what that change is all about. Uh, I will be later this evening, I will also be uh, preparing a video for you. Uh, whether or not it gets out tonight, I'm not sure. Uh, video man DVD. That's Chris Ray there. He may get it up on his site before I do because he'll be doing some of the edits on the Syria, Syria crisis. And um, so we will be posting that. And of course, I'll continue to, to speak on things uh, that relate to the Christian believer as well. But um, the burden that I have for my own people in the hour that we're living in as we draw close to the close of the Gentile age has really become heavier and heavier. And I really feel pressed in my heart to reach out to my own people in a way that I have not done in the past. Um, Jews for Judaism happens to be one organization that I will reach towards because these brothers here are very faithful in trying to help our people as Jews to stay Jewish and not to be proselyted into Christianity. But I'm afraid in many cases, as I listen to my brethren there and the responses that they make concerning Jesus as being the potential Messiah, Mashiach, um, I recognize that through traditional Christianity uh, teachings, now not from the Christian Bible itself, but the tra traditional theology, there's been some cases where it, it doesn't seem to quite line up for them. And uh, it doesn't mean that the scripture of the New Testament is wrong by no means. It just means that it's just the interpretation that sometimes we make. And then sometimes, of course, it's accurate theology. And it's just that the Jewish people are finding ways around it because they just don't believe it as of yet. And I feel that God, with the, what he has placed in my heart already and what he continues to place in my heart, wants me to reach out to my own people to really get them to understand who the Messiah really is. So this is, the, this is where I feel uh, com, com, you know, pressed in my heart to reach out to my own people. Um, there's been several of you that have, uh, that have volunteered, and I thank you so much in doing transcription work for us. You've already done some. Uh, a couple of people are on standby asked me to be able to be a part of that as well. And as soon as I can get myself caught up, we'll go right back into that. What we're wanting to do is to take these transcribed messages, like on the book of Ruth that was, or excuse me, the story of Ruth that I've done already, and to uh, put it into a better text. In other words, I can read over it and then more write it more, more like in book form, but publish it on our website to where people have a more of a hard copy. And, and I encourage you, as we put these things on the internet, uh, and I encourage you as we do the YouTube videos or if you happen to be watching us on uh, WBN TV that, you know, record these uh, videos, uh, save them for yourself because I have a feeling that eventually YouTube is not going to be around for the purpose that we're here now for. Um, I'm also wanting to ask you that if you really... There's several of you now that have become a part of our ministry here and you have been very faithful, uh, whether it's monthly or whatever it is that you've been giving to, a, to, to this ministry and this work. We do thank you very much. Uh, sometimes uh, I hope we haven't forgot to, to thank the people that do that, but we, if we've made that mistake, just please bring it to our attention. We want to be sure that we thank you for your kindness. And uh, those that maybe if you're new to the ministry or if you've been there for a while and you just feel in your heart you'd like to help as well, 
we do need that help. And the reason I say that is because when we're trying to help the Jewish people, we do it in more than one way. But our main focus, because uh, I have been asked the question, what do you do to help the Jewish people? Well, what I do in helping the Jewish people, my own brethren, my own sisters that are there in Israel and around the world, is to recognize who the Messiah really is. And so it takes a lot of studying and a lot of time and a lot of prayer to just really seek God to know what to say and to put it in a format to where they can get it and receive it. We would like to make it more available too when God gives us a message that we could put on a DVD and make available to them. Any Jewish person knows that if they contact me and reach out to me, anything they want they can have for free. And that's part of what your support does as well. It, it helps us financially though be able to do this not just the cost of producing it but to be able to have the time to do it because otherwise I'm out there moving pianos which I still do that as well but I've tried to cut back here in the last couple of weeks I've spent all my time here uh, preparing uh, as much as we possibly can so we're trying to get to that place where we can go uh, complete surrender to God and to try to get the message out to the people and so, so we just put that before you, if that's what the Lord lays on your heart, and we thank you for it. It's not to put pressure on anyone. I want anyone and everyone to come freely to partake and to, to, to utilize the material. And even if you're a person out there, you would like to get one of our books and you don't have the money for it, just write us a letter at israelreturns at aol.com. We'll send you one for free. It doesn't matter. For us, what matters is that we can be a blessing to you as well as to our Jewish brethren right now uh, because we're in a very critical hour for them um, not only for the for the changing of the gospel going from uh, according to Romans 11 in the Christian Bible where Paul says be you not therefore high-minded see because he's able to cut you out of the tree and regraft back in the natural branches see God never deals with the Jew and Gentile at the same time except in the isolated cases such as myself or other Jews that come in and believe now and I believe that there is a period of time like it was with Paul before the gospel turns completely back to the Jewish people again, I believe there is going to be a time where we will actually see a revival amongst Jewish people around the world. Now, when I say revival, it won't be a big thing necessarily to everybody, but all of a sudden we'll start seeing more of an influx of Jews believing that Yeshua is indeed Mashiach. And then the eyes of the Jews in Israel will come open as 144,000 in one day will be born a nation. And that will be at the moment that Jesus himself is rising up from the throne, the mercy seat there, to go to present himself to his brethren and then to redeem his bride and take her home with him. And so... Anyway, this is the message that we're wanting to get out, and there's so many ways, as many of you guys already know, that God deals with me on that really is kind of different, we might say. Um, and so I'm just, we're just reaching out to you to let you know, because if we don't let you know, then you, you don't know. And uh, we just want to let you know that what we're trying to do... Um, you know, there are other things that we want to try to get to make this a little bit better, uh, but at this point here, it doesn't really matter. If we can get the videos out like we're doing now, the point has gotten across to the world. And uh, so, and, and the, the, everything that we've done, including the television uh, program there, we did see it's made a difference in the number of people that see, because we can see it even by the visits to our website, that that has changed dramatically from what we were getting on visits. So. Yes, it does reach somewhere, somebody. We don't know who and who all, but if you're, if you're new to the YouTube channel, let us know. You know, just so that we know that, uh, especially if you caught it on the internet or online TV, or if you caught it on the uh, satellite network Glory Star on channel 129 is where that airs at. I know there's so many places that it airs that I'm not really sure. Uh, if you go to WBNTV.org, uh, that's the uh, television broadcast that we're on. There is a list of information of how you can find it on TV there. I know that our program airs daily at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
Uh, now, whether or not they archive the program or not, I'm not sure, but I do try to post everything that goes there. We post on YouTube as well so that you have that available to you and, and it's not just in one place. Some of the things that you've not been seeing is just where we've taken some of the previous recordings and we've posted them on television, so they're already available on YouTube anyway. So it's nothing new at that particular point there. Um, but anyway, just uh, and, and if you if you uh, just I know I always ask talk to you guys about these things, and then I half the time I forget to tell you if you want to give how to do that. So I apologize. Uh, we'll put that at the closing here because yes, you can give online at IsraelReturns.com. There's a little donation tab on the left side of the uh, screen there. And of course, uh, you can always mail us if you feel more uh, comfort comfortable that way at uh, 12537 Gemstone Court. Uh, that's Fort Myers, Florida, uh, zip code 33913. God bless you. Pray for us. Uh, you know, honestly, I covet your prayers more than anything else because the more people that are praying for us, the more then, then we know that God will lead us in the right direction that we should go. And that's more important than anything else. Hope you stay tuned later tonight as uh, I will be talking on the Syria uh, crisis. And um, I know that we found out some, of course, the world has found out the recent information, uh, the recent information where Russia uh, is trying to negotiate a, a, an agreement there of disarming the, the stockpile of uh, weapons there. Don't know exactly how that'll go, but nonetheless, we'll, we'll, you know, we know it can change. It doesn't necessarily have to be an invasion right now. We know Damascus will end up being a ruinous heap, and the turmoil there is hot and heavy. So will it be right now, or is it going to quiet down for just a little bit and then start up all over again? Who knows? But eventually, it's going to come to pass. That's one thing for sure, because we see it in the Bible, nonetheless. God bless you. Thank you for watching this broadcast. If you would like to be a part of this ministry, you can send your tax-free gift to Danoon Institute at 12537 Gemstone Crescent, Fort Myers, Florida 33913 or you can give securely online at www.israelreturns.com For more resources, visit our website again at www.israelreturns.com Also, please visit our YouTube channel, Ben Danoon. We would like to thank some of our valued friends for making this broadcast possible. Thank you for being with us. We trust that tonight's program has been a blessing.